The French government has called an emergency meeting to be held tomorrow with football bodies and the police to examine what went wrong at last night's Champions League final. There were chaotic scenes before, during and after the match between Liverpool and Real Madrid as Liverpool fans accused police of brutal and intimidating tactics. The UK Minister for Sport, Nadine Dorries, said that the images of what happened were deeply concerning, while the Mayor of Liverpool, who was at the game, described the conduct of the French police as completely unacceptable. The French authorities accused many Liverpool fans of turning up with fake tickets. Our correspondent Dan Johnson sent this report from Paris. This was like something from darker days in football, a scene that unnerves any fan and not what you'd expect at the biggest match in the European club game. This nine-year-old was caught by the effects of tear gas. Liverpool fans say it was indiscriminate and heavy-handed policing after officers failed to manage the crowd and get everyone to their seats in time for kickoff. It was an experience which meant many went home to Merseyside in shock as well as disappointment. Big queue, we have kids getting crushed together and stuff. It was, it was disgusting, really. A young lad who I know, who was, who was 12, his dad uh, posted the message, they were gassed. He's 12. A few old people were getting got tear gassed, we got tear gassed, there was a few kids panicking. We got into the stadium, me and my daughter, but it was quite intimidating, but other people we knew didn't get in who had tickets to get in. We got there about two and a half hours before kick-off, and then going into one gate, he tried. To, oh, thousand of us trying to go through one gate that only had one turnstile open, so it's just, just mayhem. It was squashed up against the fences people, all down the side. People were crying. People were crying. Kids. There was children on parents' shoulders. We were in tears. It's just what we witnessed. It was just horrific. Liverpool fans have told us this was a narrow bottleneck created by the police, which stopped them reaching the turnstiles, even though they were here in good time. So the pressure was on here. And there were some people climbing the fence. It's not clear if they were actually Liverpool fans. But UEFA and the French authorities are sticking to their line that these problems were caused by thousands of Liverpool supporters turning up here with fake tickets. Even the friends and family of Liverpool players had trouble getting into the stadium. It was a shambles, really. Um, you know, one of my mates who got a ticket off me got told he had a fake ticket, which I can <laughs> I can assure you definitely wasn't a fake ticket um, when you get them off the club and, you know, a player. So, to be honest, people were just making it up at times and obviously clearly panicking and things like that, tear gas getting thrown at people, which um, is unacceptable. Today, fans gathered in celebration to mark their double cup winning season, despite missing out on the Premier League and Champions League titles. But the city's mayor, who was at last night's final, has echoed calls for an investigation. I'm going to call on Liz Truss, the foreign secretary, to write to the, um, the, the French president, Macron, and hold UEFA to account. The police, the police behaviour was absolutely brutal, and we need some answers. The Culture Secretary, Nadine Doris, has made a similar demand and UEFA says there'll be a review into how this happened. The French Ministry of Sports called a meeting tomorrow morning, presumably aware that whatever was behind it, this is not the impression it wanted sports fans to take away from the city hosting next year's Rugby World Cup, then the Olympics in 2024. Dan Johnson, BBC News, Paris.